வெல்கம் ஃபோக்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் பவன் குப்தா டெக்னிக்கல் மார்க்கெட்டிங் இன்ஜினியர் ஒர்க்கிங் ஃபார் சிஸ்கவ் வெல்கம் டு ஏஜென்ட் லெஸ் போஸ்ட் சீரீஸ் வீடியோ இன் மை அர்லியர் வீடியோஸ் வி சா ஹவு டு கான்ஃபிகர் ஐஎஸ்சி இன் ஆர்டர் டு அச்சீவ் ஏஜென்ட் லெஸ் போஸ்டர் ஃபங்க்ஷனாலிட்டி ஆன் தி எண்ட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் சி வாட் ஆர் தி சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் அவைலபிள் வென் ஏஜென்ட் லெஸ் போஸ்டர் இஸ் ஃபெயிலிங் ஆன் தி எண்ட் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் லெட்ஸ் டூ அ குவிக் ரீகேப் ஆன் ஏஜென்ட் லெஸ் போஸ்டர் Agent less posture is introduced by keeping market demand in mind how does an administrator quickly assess compliance of an organization policies without installing agent on end point and get rich contextual information of an end point and giving differentiated secure access to the end points agent less posture flow might fail because of not meeting the prerequisites there are several factors because of which agent less posture might fail some of them might be because of non reachability to endpoint ips it might also fail because of a ports are not opened on endpoints or credentials issues when agentless posture is failing we don't want endpoints to stuck in that state cisco identity services engine provides solution to this problem by updating session info which could be used as a condition in order to give differentiated privileges such as restricting the access to network or different flow such as provisioning temporal agent in this video we're going to use provisioning a temporal agent when agent as posture is failing in action we'll see what is the configuration that is required once after successful login let's review the policies that we have configured let's navigate to policy policy sets i'm making use of a default policy set the authentication policies were remaining as is the map authentications were looking into the internal endpoint store the dot next authenticated endpoints are being looked into the all user id store sequence in which active directory is also present we'll see what are the authorization policies that are required in order for us to do an agentless posture and if at all agentless posture was failing for the endpoints what are the possibilities available with us for the initial endpoints connecting to the wide.1x will be providing the agentless authorization profile in which agentless posture flag was enabled so that isc will aware of endpoints connecting to the network which are supposed to go through the agentless posture flow for the sessions which are failing in the agentless posture we have introduced a new flag new condition called session agentless flow status which can be failed or success as a value upon failure we can give the restricted access deny access or even we can provision the temporal agent so that we can let the endpoints go through the temporal agent flow instead of stuck in the earlier state i'm making use of one flow wherein we can actually provide the temporal agent so that we can actually let the users connect to the network to go through the temporal agent flow we got two more authorization policies for the compliant and non compliant sessions uh just for sake of the demonstration i was making use of the permit access in both the scenarios and we will see what is this temporal agent authorization profile in this case let's navigate to the policy policy elements results authorization authorization profile and let's see what is the temporal agent authorization profile has temporal agent authorization profile was enabled with the web redirection to be redirected to client provisioning portal from which the temporal agent can be downloaded in case of a agent less posture failing state users will be redirected to the client provisioning portal from which the any correct temporal agent can be downloaded through which they can get the access accordingly we'll have to configure client provisioning policy for the agentless posture failing devices i'm making use of a windows endpoint here for the demonstration purpose when agentless fail uh, posture is failing i'm making use of a same condition called session agentless flow status equals failure so that we can give the temporal agent instead of agentless plugin we'll see in the action with the help of one windows endpoint i got my windows 
device connected to one of the switch port. I'm making the switch port up. Once the endpoint is connected to the network, as per the configuration, initially the endpoint is matching with agentless posture initial authorization policy and it has been given agentless authorization profile in which agentless posture flag is enabled. Initially the endpoint is going to the agentless posture flow but ISC was trying to contact the endpoint and is failing because of the prerequisites which are not meeting the requirement. ISC is choose a CVOA in order to give the temporal agent as per the configuration that we have set. Let's go to the endpoint. Let's try to browse any URL. Endpoint is being redirected to ICE client provisioning page from which the temporal agent can be downloaded. Click on start. IAC is determining whether the temporal agent is already running on the endpoint. Download the temporal agent, run the flow. Temporal agent will try to contact the end PSN and it will evaluate the posture policies configured on the IAC. Once after posture policies are being evaluated by the temporal agent, it will automatically gives you compliant or non-compliant access. In my case, I got the device as compliant and I got the permit access. This is how we were helping the endpoints get the network access in case of agentless posture failures. That's it. Thanks for watching.